Alright, best of luck to both teams. We're about to fire this bad boy away here. Hopefully the mic sounds good for you all. I do have a bit of a delay, so I'm sorry in advance. Okay, this looks like Chocolate Palons is taking the attack to start here, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, Triarchy taking the defense initial. Uh, Unicomps are definitely pretty standard. Chinsu bringing a full set of range, which is a very interesting strat. Um, wasn't predicting Chinsu plus range. That's very uncommon for Chinsu. Um, but we do see some ball boys in play over for the Triarchy team. Classic ball boys have been a major feat of this, uh, these uh, uh, tournament maps as well as javelins. Javelins have been pretty big as well. A lot of reapers in play mixed in. A couple of banner, the new banner lord, not banner lord, the new banner unit is in, uh, is also in effect as well here for Chocolate Paladins. Trying an interesting strat. Uh, let's see how it works out for them. Doesn't look like there'll be any sort of sally out from Correct Castle, which is predictable. Why would you want to sally on Correct Castle? But I mean, I've seen some crazy shit this tournament, so it could, it could go anywhere, man. Anything could happen. But uh, best of luck to both teams. Let's see where it goes. Looks like healer units also brought in for the Triarchy team. And for Chocolate Poundance. All right. So there's a slight delay as we know. I just typed in the chat for them for the people coming in so they're all aware. Let's see how this works out for them. I'm also gonna put the in-game sound on. I'm just gonna get uh, zoomed out real quick, get a nice little overview of it. So starting off right away, you're gonna have some work already being worked right at the bat. Just gonna zoom out real quick. Go to the side. No, it doesn't look like a very heavy uh, wall rush is incoming. A couple of heroes here and there for Chocolate Paladins making a light push. Sorry, guys, just gonna want to turn the sound on real quick. Get some sound in the game. A lot of javelins being thrown right at the bat, right at the ta tower. There's a little bit of anteing going on, but no real, as we can see, no real tower, no real wall rush. A couple guys coming in here for Chocolate Palons on tab left mid. Uh, Shag and Wagon and, Rip and Ripcats looking to make a play over here, take out some of that already, make sure their towers land, ideally. Uh, but without already being able to be dropped by either side, it's going to be pretty uh, ideal. It's going to be pretty uh, pretty obvious that towers will land, unless they really just don't anti the art they don't use their own already against their already. In which case, it'll be a tough situation here for uh, Chocolate Palons, because you don't really want to waste time here. Uh, Ripcat's going immediately for some cheeky points on B here, going for a nice little a nice little rush over there. Looking at him work, doing some pike things, trying to get guys to bait him off the wall. Uh, it does not look like Chiarch is responding heavily, though. They sent one guy to handle Ripcat, so not going to overcommit him. Chinsu actually takes a guy out with his longbow, uh, takes out Eagle through with his longbow on the tab left tower over here. Uh, on tab left mid, it does look like a heavy presence here for Triarchy, a very heavy presence. Background music too loud, I got it. Uh, a very heavy presence indeed. Uh, tab right mid is pretty light, but they're not really worried about that since that tower got antied. It does look like Chocolate Palance will do a full rotation here. Their, their coordination is much better than when I originally casted them. Uh, they're looking a lot healthier in terms of coordination. Ripcast distracting two here as right off the bat. I'm actually going to slow down here and wait for the action to commence here. A couple of traps coming in for, uh... Deflected. Couple of trips coming in here for Chocolate Paladins on the tab left side. They're looking for a supply point rush though. Uh, it looks like they still got. It does not look like Triarchy is responding heavily, even though all of Chocolate Paladins' team here is on that B side tower. It does look like Triarchy has only com has only committed a handful of guys, leaving it like about half their team still on A. They're now reacting now, realizing that there's an uh, issue occurring here. I'm gonna go in for a closer look here on that supply point play. It does look like Chaka Palace is gonna make a hard supply point. They don't want them to pull. A lot of infantry coming in. Medallas, PGs mixed in. A lot of different unicomps happening right now. And uh, it could be a really nice play here for Chaka Palace if they're able to take this point. Uh, as we get a closer look, it does look like Triarchy is anting heavily. They have flames going off. They have hero play going off. It does look like. Uh, uh, Chocolate Palance is going to actually trade back a little bit here, making an even trade. It does look like Triarchy is looking for a flank. Nasu Lika looking for the flank, as well as Goddess to Sorp are coming in, trying to take him out. Ketri's flanking in now. It does look like they have a nice little death ball on B, but they're, they are trying to cut it off and make sure to try to ens ensnare uh, Chocolate Palance here. Chocolate Palance is taking some heavy uh, some heavy losses here. Uh, it does look like Chocolate Palance is down six guys to only four guys for Triarchy. It's still a heavy fight. This, can, this is still anybody's ball game right now. Those flames are really just going off right now. 
as we can see on this B-side supply point. It's pretty intense here, dude. As a matter of fact, Chaka Palace actually might walk away with this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, another flanking play coming in for Triarchy. Chaka Palace is not giving up. They're not relenting. Not a lot of traps going off, though. I'm nervous that there's not a lot of traps going off. Chaka Palace ensnared a bunch of bow players and baskets just trying to hold the line. There looks like their unit comps are completely destroyed at this point in time. They're trying to stop Triarchy from pulling, and it does look like they're successfully stopping it at this moment in time. But uh, it could be anybody's fight right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's anybody's ball game at this point in time. Uh, at this point, it does look like Triarchy has resecured the supply point. Uh, too many have died here for uh, too many have died for Chaka Palace. Only having three heroes left there. Uh, one hero, actually four heroes. One hero on a uh, B side supply. But it does look like it was just an, oh, an uh, a quick strat to make them pull off A, which it was. It does look like Chaka Palace did a re quick respawn, realizing they lost their supply point push, went to Plan B, and went straight to A, which is now empty without any arty. They're gonna take A comfortably because they've Chaka is full committed to B side. It does look like Prinkles kicks Blake and Jason and have a real good grasp on this. Getting their units in play. They're trying to get those Reapers in. Trying to get their teammates in force. It does not look like Triarchy is able to respond in time whatsoever. CB on the ground just realizing the, the, situation, the dire situation they're in. Goddess to Sword, but trying to use his banner unit to actually do some damage here. But it's not going to be enough. They're just kind of throwing here on A at this point. They should probably back up a little bit, and they are. Um, it does look like Chaka Palance will decisively take A, which is one of the hardest points on the map to take. I think it was a really good play here by uh, Chaka Palance. They lost the trade on B, so what they do, they went back to A and retook it. I think that was definitely the move. And based on unit count right now, this, the, the unit count is actually even. It does look like Matt and Kaiser, though, coming with fucking Hussars. Two supply points, a flank. It does look like Triarchy's heavy on supply. A big flank of Hussars coming in with some other Cav as well. It does look like RGI is responding with Armagers and, and another teammate coming with Medows. Two guys coming in central. A big trade happening right now, ladies and gentlemen, on the supply point. It's getting smoky, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting hot in here. I gotta get in for a closer look. I need to see, ladies and gentlemen. I need to see. Uh, it does look like Chaka Palance is heavy engaging here. Triarchy not willing to really give up tab of supply. Cheeky points currently happening on home point. No hero there, as you can see. Uh, it does look like Chaka Palance will take that. Let's just take a quick uh, U-turn. Kicks getting free cap points. Not really anyone in response. You think get quarter cap before they respond in time. Triarchy realizes runs over with heroes. It's a very fast-paced game, ladies and gentlemen. Rivcat's going in here with some PGs versus some uh, versus some uh, <laughs> versus some of the uh, uh, the the fancy halves. I can't find the name of them tonight now. That that was a e quick to eat though for uh, Rivcat's there. Very delicious. It does look like Triarchy will immediately go into their final formation here. Give up B completely as expected. Um, they got their Senji shooting, trying to hold the line. Madao's getting braced, getting set up. Let's go for a defensive look here. It's hard to see around these corners. It does look like Blake Redcaps, Fluffy, and Matt are immediately engaging, taking the fight to them. Triarchy giving no ground or constantly pushing into them. Um, you know, we'll have to see here. Triarchy has a really, doesn't really have the uh, kill box they need to hold home point. I am a bit nervous for Triarchy. They probably should have played a little more conservative. Chaka Palance is a momentum type of team, and uh, they are clearly showing it here, ladies and gentlemen, playing a classic death ball strat. After playing a lot of TWs with these guys, I know their freaking plays, and this is definitely one of them. They're just going to death ball that. A nice walk with a follow up of PGs. Only one set of Forda Brocky and a couple of heroes to support and sentries in the back. That's not enough. We'll have to see, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to see. Chaka Palace has really come to play. Chaka is really trying everything they possibly can to stop them at this point in time. Uh, according to the unit count, it does look like Chaka is down about 690 units and only Chaka Palace is down 471. Chaka Palace is now flooding in from tab side after securing B. The rest of the team coming in for a massive death ball push. Uh, no real flank just right now set up for Chaka at all. A home point push coming in right now. They're giving Chaka no time to breathe here, ladies and gentlemen. They're just coming in hot, making a play. Cataphract's charging in, but it's not enough. They got four Brachio and Slowwalkers in there. There's nothing they can do. Ripcat's taking the fights of only Hunter. CB with his musket trying to make a play happen, but it's just not enough, ladies and gentlemen. It's just not enough. Chaka Palace is really just pushing. There's the flank right now by Twix. Let's see if he gets it done. It does look like Blake is there with Impikes. He is, and he does stop that completely. Uh, Madao's coming in as well for uh, Triarchy here, trying to support the Senjis, but there's a big death ball by uh, Chaka Palance in here. They would need, uh, a Triarchy would really need a big clear here to secure the situation, but based off the unit comp right now, only 300 units on the field at this point in time for Triarchy to Chaka Paladin 623. Um, also, half the team has now almost been about six heroes or now seven heroes are now dead for Triarchy to only two for Chaka Paladins. A very quick, a very quick match so far, ladies and gentlemen. I expect this to be a much longer fight. Um, looks like they're trying to make a flank, but but Chaka Palance just knows the map. They are watching that with F14 Brachios and Pikes, and they're walking up the tunnel as well. There's not much Triarchy can do here. Um, they really committed to that tab of supply to try to hold there instead of staying up for home, and uh, it did cost them the snowball tactic. The Cav are being flanking right now, but they're being stopped by the F14 Brachios. Uh, at this point, it's just a hero trade right now. A lot of heroes dead right at this point in time for Triarchy. There's body block with everything they can, but no real units to stop the push. It's inevitable at this point, ladies and gentlemen. It's inevitable. 
Uh, Trifu Simir going to lock it up with Matt on the actual door. He's got ISGs blocking that off, or, uh, yeah, ISGs blocking that off. Interesting to see ISGs in play here with the strat. CB, uh, one of the last heroes alive here, does, that goes down to the team captain, Blake. Uh, Lonely Hunt is also the last one alive, and that's game, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Chaka Pounds came in hot, man. Came in hot. Wow. Chaka Pounds definitely came to play. Uh, Chaka definitely was trying their best. They had a nice little clear on B, but I ended up getting A in the possible. And in the, in the, uh, wow. Wow. Matt walking away with a decisive MVP. He was on the front lines at all time. Ripcat's distracting everything. Takes second place comfortably with Jason West following shortly after. Expected. Uh, you know, some really just really good team play here, ladies and gentlemen, by Chaka Pound. And when Fnatic came in the stream, he really kind of... <laughs> They, he wasn't kidding when they said they'd been planning, they'd been practicing and working, and they really have. This is a different team than when I last streamed uh, Chaka Powers, uh, and they definitely uh, sh let them show. Triarchy is no pushover. They definitely mean business as well with RGI Van Menzo taking away MVP with 100 kills. Uh, CB walking away, breaking, taking second place, breaking even, and hero kills. I mean, hero kills were going back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. A lot more hero kills here for uh, Chaka Powers this time around, but uh, they really did uh, try to stop uh, Chaka Powers and really kind of took the fight to them, kind of full pushing them, never really taking the time to actually step defensively besides A. And B, and what, at, one, at one point, it was literally just uh, keep smashing into each other and win your exchange. And uh, Chaka Pounds, is that's, they love that shit. You smash into them, they win their exchanges. That's their big thing. They have really good hero play, and uh, they're that crazy like that. Let's take a quick look at the post-battle analysis. So as you can see here, um, I, initially, uh, uh, initially, Triarchy had a really good hold on A. Um, Chaka Paladin seeing that pushed B side tower on tab left, flooded down. They tripped all this as well, so the Chiarchy did lose some initial units there. And then uh, Chaka Paladin's pushed down the back staircase. Really hard exchange right here. This was a big trade. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, Chaka Paladins ended up kind of breaking even with Triarchy here. By the time they were wiped, it was uh, 300 deaths and 300 deaths. And in the respawn, I mean, Tri uh, Triarchy was still clearing up B when five or six heroes spawned on A and took it pretty much decisively without really a hitch. Um, so it was a really good sacrifice on B and ended up working really well here in the favor of Chaka Paladins. I think the biggest mistake that Triarchy made here, um, they were doing okay up to this point, was this, ta was this tab right supply. Um, as soon as they, I, excuse me, ta I think this is Tabloth, I can't remember, I, I, the name maps not in front of me. But, uh, this supply point right here, Triarchy really committed to it, uh, I would say probably 300, 400 units here. And, um, Ch Ch Chaka Pounds had a big flank with Hussars and a couple other Cav, and then they had, of course, Madows and Impikes mixed in. Um, and of course they beat down that cab and by the time Triarchy's armor triggers got involved and tried to get in the fight It was already over plus the alchemist healing plus supply point blocked um, Chaka Pounds also spawns very closely. It's gonna be a very challenging situation here for a Triarchy and it's pretty much led them to cause uh, a, a, Led pretty much a chain reaction uh, Chaka Pounds and a handful of players continued to push pushing in here where Triarchy again tried to hold the line a bit shorthanded They probably should have set up in the classic spots on home plus on the wall with art with, with, with I mean with um, some type of maybe nah, I don't even know what they could have done because no already. Um, they were in a tough spot, Triarchy, towards the end here. Uh, they were just down too many units. Uh, B side the and B was taken for free once uh, they got past that point. But a very nice play here by Chaka Pounds. A tough, a tough loss here for Triarchy. We'll have to see on the next.